At 155 pounds, your tail to take for Makashev versus Hamosh. Hamosh is the older man by five years. Makashev taller by four inches. He will have a slight half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars. Back inside of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Ten wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the World Cup Pan American and ADC Jiu Jitsu champion, Davi Tasmanian Devil. record 17 wins one loss he stands five feet ten inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of makachkala russia presenting the combat sambo world and european champion islam makachkala and the action begins our referee in charge peter hickman Peter Hickmott got the fresh fade for tonight. The beautiful Luciana Andrade getting ready for round one here. A lot of Makashev support in this building. Davi Hamosh trying to mute the Abu Dhabi masses here. Makashev is in red. Davi Hamosh is in black. Opens with an early kick to the body. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. More natural, better sports drink. Grab one today at Speedway. That left high kick is one of Mahachev's best weapons. He lands it very well, especially on a southpaw. It's going to be there. Makashev, former combat sambo world and European champion, really has plus skills everywhere, though, if you watch the film. Outstanding jab, good in the clinch. Opportunistic submission game, knockout power. But Hamosh, as soon as he had accomplished that goal in 2015, as he... Is it, there's the first takedown attempt on Hamosh. But Hamosh in 2015 immediately shifted his focus to the UFC, and he is off to a 4-1 start in the big show. Hamosh has worked so hard to try to close that gap between his grappling and his striking. Said he can't be the UFC champion with just jujitsu, but certainly got hands and he has power. I like to see Hamas use similar tactics as Fajeda. I mean, he can throw whatever he wants because a lot of people don't want to take him down. So keep the offense high, keep the pressure high. That'll shut down the kicks of Mahachev. And then look for your takedown or have Mahachev, uh, Mahachev take him down. Thirteenth pro fight for Hamosh. He has never been finished as an MMA pro, and he's trained a lot in Russia, so very comfortable with this Abu Dhabi backdrop tonight. Is that a breeze? I just felt that can't be a breeze. That was from the left hand that just landed from Machev right there. That's what you felt. That was fast and it was hard, and it hit right on the button. And the longer Hamos waits on Machev, it's going to be a long night for him. He needs to be first and needs to not be waiting to counter. Crowd chanting for Islam Machashev. That's one thing that. Almost does do is he'll he's got very good counter ability so when you fire he'll throw a three four piece combination but a lot of times he's just waiting and so is Machev and that's what we're seeing right now they're waiting on one another looking to counter each other Hamosh 
Shed to the body, then retreats. So far, it's been one strike at a time from these guys, and combinations really step things up and make things a little different. Shev, Hamosh counters. See, once you touch him, Hamos throws almost every single time. But if you don't go first, he almost waits. You touch him and he'll go, he'll go right away. You now Mahachev mixing in the fakes. And that'll offset the counters of um, Hamos. Hamosh keeping that guard high. Crowd sort of waiting with bated breath for that Makhachev land. Coming up on 30 seconds to go here in round one. Almost unofficially just two for 20 on his strike attempts thus far. Together in the first round, the guys haven't thrown 20 strikes yet. Really. Well, about 50 total, so 25 each, excuse me. But the, the offense has been very low and they're really just waiting on one another, looking to counter each other. Counter versus counter. Yep. Hamosh appeared to land a right hand partially a moment ago. Five minutes down. Stand up. Sit down. Okay. We have to hit with his right first. Okay. We have to attack with the right hand more. Un moving forward. I want you first. You first. Oh, just keep on moving. You got to faint with your front foot and throw with your hand and uh, back hand. Keep on moving your head. This round zero to zero. You move forward the all the time. I want you first. Okay, you're better prepared, Davi. Let's go. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. It is UFC 242, Khabib versus Poirier Nurmagomedov's teammate, Islam Makhachev, the number 15 ranked lightweight in the world, trying to continue his ascent by turning back Dabi Hamosh. Makhachev, the slightly busier and more effective striker in round one. Here's round two. And I love Hamos' corner saying, you gotta be first. I couldn't agree more. He's gotta quit waiting and just go, let his hands go and be first. Hamos immediately counters with a flurry after Mahashev landed high. He almost waits on you to, to go before he goes. It's like, give one, take one, give one, take one. And if Hamos just is the first to go, things might change up. Looked like Hamos was in a pretty good position to get a takedown, but not against someone like Natasha. Natasha absolutely deadly in that clinch setting. About a minute gone by here in round two. Mukhashev lands to the bottom. So both fighters have attempted just one takedown through the first nearly seven minutes. Chef starting to press forward, working off that jab out of the southpaw stance. And we said it in the earlier fight where if you get two strikers, in the very first fight of the night, if you get two strikers, a lot of times you see them grapple each other because they don't want to go against each other's strengths. And what we're seeing here is what it looks like, two grapplers that don't want to go into each other's strengths, and so they're having a striking match. 
and it's just the way it goes sometimes. Neither of them wants to give an inch, and so they end up just not doing too much. Nice counter by Machev. And now Machev getting off a little bit, being first a little bit more. Oh! Nice jab by Hamos, and he's got power, and that's why he likes to wait. If he connects, he knows he can knock you out. Very patient. Mahashev seemed to recover with immediacy, but a moment there for Hamosh. And there's that Hamosh jab again. Keeping Mahashev honest. Beautiful handwork there by Mahashev. So when you're preparing for a fellow counter-striker, I'd imagine you're expectant that you might get into some of these scenarios where there's a lot of feeling out, a little bit of a, a, a feeling contest at times. Yeah, that's right. And what you can do in those situations is faint. You double up on the feints and then the counter's not there because they can't tell if you're faking or, or being offensive. And the fakes aren't there for these guys, so they, that's what's happening. Mahasha have landed a big right hand a moment ago while backing up. Amos a little bit bloody now. Oh, big knee for Mahasha. Mahasha is just getting ahead on the, on the big strikes landed by, by far. I mean, it's, it looks like it's touched Amos' nose. Looking a little red. No cuts yet. I don't know. I can't see a cut yet, but I think the nose is busted for sure. Amos is just waiting a little too much. He needs to be first, and that would really help him out. The same as Fajeda. Fajeda fought this style as well and just waited. It would be tough against right, his opponent, Tysima. But he went first all the time and kept Tysima up on his heels, and that's, that's what Amos could do to make a little difference. But he's waiting on Mahachev. He's getting out first. And Islam starting to put it all together now, landing nearly 60% of his total strikes, mixing it up well. I, was in, I didn't think Islam would really go for takedowns. I figured he would keep this fight on the feet. And that's what we've seen pretty much so far. Hamosh presses forward. You wonder how he'll manage risk down the stretch in the third round if we get there. Final 10 of round two now. Good round for the Russian. Perfect Islam, perfect, relax, relax, give him water, good job, good job, just don't brawl, keep the same work, keep the distance, just keep the distance and in the, in the two minutes you're gonna knock him down. Right uppercut goes to be thrown, and you see Hamos throws it like a check hook jab type of punch, and it connects. And you see this left hand really hurt Hamos. And another one down the pipe, right to the nose. So the most, probably the strongest, most significant punch was that that hook jab, jab hook looking <laughs> punch that Hamos threw. It was like a mix of the two. And it, it kind of rocked Machep, but the accumulation of, of left hands is really adding up. All right, round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Davi Hamosh was super excited when he heard that Islam Makhachev had accepted this fight. Now we'll see what the Brazilian Hamosh can do over these final five minutes. Oh, he gets him with the knee. And he holds him Huge down. knee. Hamosh trying to recover. Oh, big punches. Huge punches landing. These guys are going after it right now. Machev wants that finish. And Hamos is able to get himself a little bit together, get the overhooks, buy himself some time. That's what that lock on his legs are doing. He's trying to get himself back together. And now, even though a bit compromised, we are on the ground where Davi Hamos 
Doesn't mind being. Yeah, and it was a big knee in the clinch that lands when Hamas was moving forward. That hurt him. And keeping Hamas head up against the fence is a real smart tactic because of the way he, it's hard to move your hips there. And he can't use arm bar techniques or triangle techniques. It really shuts things down to a minimum here. Where Mahachev has it. Mahachev's cardio, outstanding. Certainly been very accurate with these ground strikes thus far. Islam pressuring his hips, keeping very tight. Almost looks like he's got himself back together, though. Fight fans, you at a UFC fight party or planning to attend a fight soon? Well, gear up with all things UFC. Available now at UFCstore.com from customized walkout hoodies to memorabilia. Special promotions are happening now. Shop now at UFCstore.com. Staying active, continuing to work on Dabi Hamosh here on the ground. Two and a half minutes now to go in this third and final round. If you're ever going to be on the ground with Hamosh, you're going to want to keep his head up against the fence, just like Makachev's doing. Smart game plan. Keep him parallel with the fence. He can't move his hips. Can't really dig under hooks. And Hamosh is good with staying on his back and not getting to his feet right here. So, Islam's happy to oblige. Three times Hamosh has been warned for interlocking his toes or fingers in the fence. Good pressure by Islam, keeping the, the legs out of the equation. And right here, this is a nice way to go for an armbar here. He tries to get the balance off, but the fence being there just really changes things. Plus, this, it's so slippery and hot, so they're so sweaty. Very hard to get arm bars, especially in the last minute and a half after the damage that's been inflicted. Right. It shows you how confident Makashev is more than willing to engage Hamosh in this realm at this stage of the fight. You certainly know about Makashev's ground credentials. I think when he's chose to do it is the right, key. Exactly. It's really smart that he waited till this third round. And right here, almost using his knees to get the now he's got his legs in there creating some space getting away from the fence would really help him i think appreciative crowd for these two warriors as we hit the final minute of the fight co-main event to follow Once again, vocal in its support of Islam Makashev. And you got to think if he wins tonight, likely to draw somebody else in that lightweight top 15. And what's so different about this fight scenario than a jiu-jitsu match is the fence. I mean, you can't move your hips. There's no there's no space to create sweep scenarios. There's no sp He's looking for arm bars from here, but because the fence is behind, he can't really move the way he wants to to create the sweep scenarios as well so just really limits you when, you're, when your head's there some conversation is going on there not sure exactly what final seconds of the fight islam akashev looking to put the finishing touches on what would be his seventh ufc win in eight tries outstanding effort from awesome. the dagestan native islam akashev you guys let it hang out they did the best they could in this matchup and smart to wait until the third round to go to the ground very good tactics nice uppercut left straight down the pipe lands from islam and then you see that jab land on islam's way in this left hand lands again right on the nose ouch bam you see the blood squirt out of that one. And this knee was the best shot of the whole fight. Put David to his back. 
And he was able to follow it up with some big ground and pound right here. Big shots landed. Keep keep Ramos' face up against the fence the, the rest of the third round and really, you know, control at the end. Well, Davi Hamos obviously disappointed. Felt like it was all in front of him tonight in terms of his opportunity to crack that vaunted lightweight top 15 so deep is this UFC roster at 155 pounds and as such the margin for error is very thin. Good sportsmanship there and that's what's beautiful about this sport. You guys try to kill each other and then at the end the sportsmanship and the respect is there. All right, the official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile's knockout coverage and unlimited data with those scorecards. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-27, 30-26, and 30-26. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Islam Markachan!